Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning into my channel for the first time, hi, my name is Ria and I make content on lifestyle, fashion, travel and food. If you're interested in watching food reels, I post a lot of content on my Instagram, so do check the link below. So now coming back to today's video, it's the first impression video again. I made one video earlier sometime, you can find the link somewhere here. So first impression is all about trying a new product together, right? So I tried it in front of the camera, in front of you all for the very first time. Today I'm going to review a celebrity brand. I'm going to review a single product from a very hyped celebrity brand. It's a recent launch and I really enjoy this particular actor's work as well. It's Kriti Sanon and the brand is called Hyphen. So I have a package from Hyphen right here and I got one of their products. I just wanted to experiment with one product and let's unbox this right now. Okay, so here's the bill. And here's the product. This is the hyphen all I need sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++ and I really like the color of the packaging the neon green really stands out I haven't really seen uh, many Indian brands having a packaging like this with this particular color so, okay so first thing first I am going to start off by reading what's written in the packaging so it has the brand name and then of course the product name and below that it has written Kakaru Plum, Niacinamide, Kojic Acid and Ceramides so it says broad spectrum and it's suitable for all skin types and the net quantity of this is 50 ml so at the back if you see closely it has got the ingredient list mentioned as well as what it does it says I am all you need in a sunscreen what I do it protects from UVA, UVB rays, it moisturizes, it helps reduce sunspots and it prevents environmental damage. That's what it claims. So the ingredients that uh, they have used in this are Kakaru Plum, which is a powerhouse of antioxidant rich vitamin C, brightens the skin, boosts collagen and fights free radicals. Then it has niacinamide, which I feel is a great uh, ingredient to have. It strengthens skin's barrier, balances oil production, promotes skin elasticity and hydrates the skin. Then it has kojic acid, which reduces sunspot and hyperpigmentation and evens out skin tone. And lastly, it has ceramides, which rebuild and strengthen skin's barrier, lock moisture and improve signs of aging. Also, it says it's fragrance free, it's vegan, it's PETA certified, it's zero plastic footprint, it's SLS free, paraben free and all alcohol free. So it's all the good things basically. And just by reading the ingredient list, I am excited to try it out. Like it has a detailed ingredient list right here on the sides, which I think is really good because it's important for brands to be transparent with their ingredient list. And it retails for $4.49, which I feel is a decent price for a sunscreen. It's uh, kind of in the affordable range. One of the best things I like about the brand is its affordability. So there are actually many celebrities right now who are launching their own brands from skincare to makeup to healthcare but the price range of most of these brands are quite up there. I think I was watching one of the videos uh, made by Kriti herself where she was uh, applying the sunscreen and she mentioned that the purpose of the making the sunscreen was to have just one product which will act as a moisturizer as well as a sunscreen. So that is an interesting fact. I myself do not really like to use separate products every day. Like yeah, sometimes I really like to do an elaborate skincare. But on most days, I will be too lazy to, you know, grab five products. This kind of infuses two products into one, like a sunscreen and a moisturizer, which uh, really works well for me. <laughs> okay, chalo, now let's go ahead and open the packaging. So opening the packaging. So this is what the actual tube looks like. Again, in the same neon packaging, which I find really cute, really attractive. I'm even wearing this color to kind of match the brand's color today. So the text on the packaging is standard and same as the outer packaging. So this comes in tube packaging, of course, like you can see. Let's just start opening. Oh, there's a seal at the top as well. So now let's go ahead and open the tube. First of all, I'm going to smell it. 
No, it doesn't seem to have a smell, which is very fine by me. I do not like strong fragrances in my skincare, especially. So let's now take out the product on my hand first and check out the consistency and how it feels. I'm going to take a small pump. Oh, okay. So this is how it looks. If you can see, it's white in color and the texture is quite runny and not very thick like a lot of sunscreens are and it's i feel it's easy to blend you can see how easily it is blending on my hand it has actually blended quite seamlessly it has i don't think it will leave any white cast i'm of course going to check it on my face and show you all but it has a very slight fragrance um a very balmy fragrance honestly yeah, sort of like you use those Amruta Anjan, um, if I'm not wrong, those kind of balms or Volini. Um, it's kind of smells like that but very subtle, like very diluted uh, Volini kind of a smell. And you can see it has actually blended quite easily. But of course I took a very little drop. But now I'm going to use the three finger rule of applying a sunscreen. By the way, earlier I mentioned that the color of the actual sunscreen looks white. But if you look at it closely, it has that slight green, like mint green, very light mint green kind of a color, which looks so pretty. Like, I don't know if you can actually decipher from the camera here. Neck as well. Okay, we are done. I like the consistency of this. It's similar to that of Aqualogica one or rather I would say it's a little denser than the Aqualogica sunscreen that I have been using and the smell is not at all irritating, the fragrance is not strong which I feel will be a plus point for a lot of people who have a sensitive nose and you know um, get headaches with strong fragrances so this won't do that and you can see how easily it is getting absorbed into the skin and I don't see any white layers so far which is great and it does not even feel sticky like it hasn't even been a minute since I have applied it like I'm still applying it actually but generally with a lot of sunscreens there is this sticky feeling when you are applying it or even after you have applied it but this feels very lightweight on the skin about the moisturizing part I have to get back to you on that like I'll give it a good 10 minutes before I come back with my final review but yeah this is how the sunscreen looks after application you can see there's no white cast whatsoever and i can tell you for sure that it does not really have that icky sticky feeling which i'm sure a lot of people will like and i think i can actually just use this as a moisturizer plus sunscreen because it has done the job my skin feels soft and light i'll just give it some 10 15 minutes before i give you the final verdict so i'll see you soon 10 minutes later okay guys so it's been over 10 minutes and the products have settled in quite well like i mentioned earlier there's no stickiness or ickiness no white cast and it does feel moisturizing like on days i am feeling lazy i can just use this sunscreen and i'll be fine but i would actually prefer to use a moisturizer before and then go on with the sunscreen of course i have to check it out for a longer time to test out the product pretty well so far my skin hasn't reacted or it hasn't felt uh, itchy or burning but you never know it might break out uh, later in that case i'll update it on my instagram so this episode of first impressions also turned out to be a good one and i think that's it for today's video this product gets a thumbs up from me you can try it it's budget friendly and it's one of those affordable sunscreens i would actually like to try out more products from uh, hyphen but for now let me know in the comments if you would like me to try out some more brands or some more products and i'll definitely do that for you all if you like this video do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you do not miss any notification whenever i upload a video i'll see you on my next video until then take care bye